Hi, my name is Michael and welcome to my second video in my Excel 2010 video tutorial. Video tutorials. If you remember in our first tutorial, I took us through the creation of this table you know, and using sort, you know, fil sort, filter and you know we did some formulas. You know, Joining two texts, you know, concatenate. You know, choose a text. See, I want to join the first name and the last name. So, first name I might like to put the space in between. So, now whatever I put in an apostrophe in a double apostrophe means that it's going to show only what is within the apostrophe. Then, if I want to add the last name, voila. No. So, but in today's video, I will be taking you through a slightly more advanced formula function in Excel, the the VLOOKUP. Now, let's see. First of all, let me copy all these names. Uh, let's use a more unique, more unique function, a more, more unique, a more unique column, the telephone number. Here, yeah, no one has the same, no two people have the same telephone numbers. So, let's say I paste it here. Yeah. Now, let's say there is another table that contains each one's telephone number and 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 say their email okay e mail right so let's see we're going to use that concatenate function again to get their emails to, to, to set their emails so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do something a little a little I'm not going to go all you know all too basic like last the last um, tutorial so I'm going to do everything right in this cell so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to come here I'll type this you know let's say they all use at yahoo.com okay it's not going to let me type that so let me put it single apostrophe remember whenever excel is trying to modify what you typed in just make sure you put the single apostrophe it's going to leave your data the way you typed it okay so now haha i want the email to be you know a combination of like i said you use concatenate to join many many cell fields to concatenate I type ta tab to autocomplete I choose I want it to be first name yeah. now dots so to put the dot I have to put whatever I want to put in be whatever extra text I want to add I have to put it them in between two double quotes so my dot will be in between and then the last name last name so then the the field I just typed now actually is eating here. Yeah? I'm going to show you another trick. I know what I want to where I typed it at yahoo.com is in this particular cell, but as you can see, Excel the formula function I'm typing the function I'm typing is it's gone beyond its own cell. It's already extended there. Yeah, I can't select this cell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a cell like two cells below it then I press the up arrow key to go to exactly where I want and can you see can you see those dancing dancing dots dash or oh, you can see them so yeah so it has selected that for me I close the brackets press enter voila it has done it but you might not notice so let's just you know do this as usual voila. 
so yeah, as you can see it has done it for me now i want it to do it automatically for all these entries you know like i told you if you just double click this it's going to automatically do for everything you know excel is very intelligent it knows that what i've done you know to this particular cell that all these other if i want to do it for these other cells as long as there are entries you know corresponding entries on this same column and this same column and this same column it's going to automatically do it for me till when it comes here and discovers there is no entry here there's nothing here there's nothing here then it stop so now i will double click this like i explained to you before now you'll be surprised why is it not including the at yahoo.com aha now i'm going to introduce you to another another property of excel you know when you are referencing a cell like we did here you know when we reference this at yahoo.com you'll notice we only type the cell id which is say column i and row 2 row 2 you know i row 2 which is intersecting i 1 2 row 2 yeah so what went wrong okay let's exit you notice it has automatically changed to i row 3 here so that's what went wrong you know when this formula duplicated itself across this entire range you know it's it's changed you know for each, each row it went down by it also automatically increased the row number so like a2 automatically became a3 which is very good as regards this our first name and last name but as regards this at yahoo.com no it's not what we want so to change that i'm going to come here then i'm going to fix whatever i know i want to let it remain the same i'm going to fix it in this case i would like it to fix this cell for me that is i want it to i don't want it whenever i whenever it copies the formula to the other cells i don't want it to increase any of this maybe the row number or the column number very easy now put put your mouse cursor right in the middle of that cell id and press f4 the function the keyboard key f4 now it's going to put a dollar sign in front of each you know, the column id the row id is going to put a dollar sign in front of them that's what we want now what that dollar sign means is it's not going to increase them you know, once it's copied this formula it's going to copy this exactly the way it is here so let's double click to drag the formula down once again voila as you can see it has done it okay so now we've created emails for them now i want to delete this since i don't need it so if i press delete you notice it's also gone here but i don't want it to go i only want it to go from here so let's undo now to do that i'm going to copy everything here now to co to, s to copy everything here you know i select the first cell i put my hand on the control key the shift key and i press the down arrow so it selects everything for me good now to copy you know control c now i want to paste as value there's a keyboard shortcut you know, press the alt you will notice all these letters all this now press h now you can see this v, v for v for paste press v now what we want to do is we want to paste as values this is what we need if you remember we did it in the first lesson so now press v once again voila it has done it so it has pasted as value i'm going to try and do that in quick succession so let's undo what i've done here so once again let's copy and then i'm going to press it real fast alt h v v voila it has done it so i can safely come here 
and delete so I would like to increase the border so I would like to put the border across every entry great <coughs> now let's imagine that this is not arranged say I decide to sort this mm, come here sort you know, it has a da remember let's say I sort by email from A to Z great so because this is not arranged I can't just copy this email you know, and and decide to paste it here yeah. because this entry will be matching this so that's where VLOOKUP comes to our rescue you know what VLOOKUP what we're going to do is we want we want a formula that will take this telephone number right and search for the email that corresponds with this telephone number entry okay let me let me let's let's go back some couple of steps so control z control z control z control z then control z now this was before i did the sorting now at this stage i could have usually come here you know, type email yeah, and then copy everything here and paste it and voila you know I've gotten still what I wanted but oftentimes these two tables will be in you know, they can come from two different sources you know and they are not arranged the same way you know in the same order as you know maybe this let's say this came from your your sales department and then this is from the receptionist or maybe you know, some other persons you know you don't expect that the entries are arranged the same way you don't expect the telephone numbers are arranged in the same order so that you can easily copy these like i did and then paste it here yeah, and then accept and, and then believe that it's all the exact entries so that's where vlookup comes to play vlookup is going to search for exactly since we know telephone number is unique vlookup we're going to use the vlookup to search for this telephone number in this table and then tell it to pick the email and put it here so once again I'm going to have to delete everything here and then to really accentuate the effect of vlookup I'm going to once again do the sort you know then sort by email a to z so great so that way you know it has been kind of like shuffled so now let's do the vlookup vlookup it's a function and press tab and then it auto completes what do i want to look up i want to look up this now that's a telephone number in our home table here in this table here then i want it to where is the table that has the entry I want to put inside the cell it is this so I select everything here that is this will be my table great okay so I've selected that now remember if we we are going to need to drag this formula down up to here so as you can remember that once you drag down these numbers will auto increase increase you know, the row numbers we auto increase and we don't want that because this table is actually fixed this table is this is the old table I don't want it to start you know auto increasing so like I explained to you you press F4 to put the dollar signs before each of the column ID row ID so that it won't change when you copy the formula so that done I press comma now, now here is the the main important value in this VLOOKUP function what do you want to pick this column index means you know, 
if what I want to pick is the telephone number so it's going to be in this table the telephone number is in the first column so the column index number is going to be one but as you all know what I want to pick is the email email is in the second column in this table so I'm going to type 2 indicates second column and then range lookup as you can see true means approximate match for now I won't delve so much into explaining but all we want is exact match the telephone numbers must be exactly the same so I'll type false and then I close the brackets you know, press enter voila automatically it has found the email that corresponds to this telephone number and as you can see it is amadi.mos which is which means it's correct so I can safely come here and then I double click to drag it down so as you can see it has done for everything for me voila so once again to it's always good to to copy and paste as values so that if you do anything here since this is what you don't want this table to keep depending on this table you've already gotten what you need so you can safely copy and paste as values so if I come here and make any maybe a mistakenly delete an entry it's not going to affect what is here so, it's, so I can once again select all copy then to paste as values or HVV to start for me I can safely even come here and delete what is here without losing what is here but let's undo that I don't want to do that yet so now I have created I've looked I've created an email column for this table and gotten the emails from another table so that's how you use VLOOKUP in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple dashboard so thank you for watching this video tutorial looking forward to seeing you watch my next tutorial thank you